quote today is from John Bevis. He goes, Hallelujah! How the people cheer and palm leaves rustle as the king draws near. Hello and welcome to Zebulon United Methodist Church's online worship service. Today is Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week, celebrating the glory of Jesus Christ. We are excited to hear our church choir perform today their Easter cantata as part of ZUNC's celebration. Thank you for making time to join us on this special day. I'd like to take a couple minutes to let you know some of the things that are going on here at our church. The youth will meet at 5.30 in the youth room. There will, however, be no youth meeting next week on Easter Sunday. Monday Thursday service with communion will be at 7 p.m., obviously, on Thursday. On Good Friday, the prayer lab in their fellowship hall will be available from 2 to 7 p.m. Easter sunrise service will be at Yosemite Meth Memorial Gardens at 6.30, followed afterwards by a breakfast at the ZUNC Fellowship Hall. Easter Sunday service will follow at 10 a.m. in the sanctuary. And on April 30th will be the annual fish fry presented by the Methodist men. More information will be available in your bulletin on that. Now there is no formal scripture lesson today, but I wanted to share this one verse from Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9, before going to our opening prayer. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you, triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Now let us pray our opening prayer. Merciful God, as we enter this holy week, turn our hearts again to Jerusalem and to the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. On this day he rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, on a road covered in palm branches, to the sounds of a cheering crowd. They were celebrating the King in all his glory. By his sacrifice and the gift of faith that he gave, may we not only praise you with our lips, but may we follow you in the way of the cross. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. And now for a hymn of praise, Hosanna, loud Hosanna, will be performed by the ZUNC Choir.
Good morning, children. Today I want to talk about greeting or how we greet people. How do you greet people? If you're not sure what I mean by the word greet or greeting, it means to welcome someone or to meet them. What are some things that you might do? Well, sometimes people will say, hello, how are you doing? By the way, I hope you're doing well today. They might fist bump or elbow bump or shake hands. Sometimes people hug each other if everyone's okay with that. There are some things that people do in other countries, other customs that they might have. For example, in Japan, people bow when they greet each other. And in other places, people nod and smile when they greet each other. Also read about a tribe of Eskimos that when they greet each other, they actually rub noses, but they reserve that for their family members. I brought my little bear today. In today's story, well, it's the story that I want to tell you about, and it's how Jesus was greeted by the crowds on that first Palm Sunday as he rode a donkey going into Jerusalem, this big city. And the crowds were shouting and cheering. They were standing along the path as Jesus rode in on a donkey. And they did have these palm branches, the scriptures tell us, and they waved them and they put them down on the ground. So that was a wonderful way to greet Jesus. In our service today, we are welcome to greet Jesus and to show him our love and our, our devotion, and that's a good thing. So may you always greet Jesus because, and, and welcome him, because you know what? He always welcomes you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you that you do welcome us and for the ways that you help our church to be a welcoming place. Help each of our children to feel that love and acceptance. And may they go out into the world, may we all go out into the world and, and welcome others as you welcome us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Our church is involved in many missions that benefit all, both physical and spiritual needs. But to continue this work, we need your support. Just like the people who showed their support of Jesus by cheering him on and praising him on the road to Jerusalem, your gifts show your support of the missions of our church. There are many ways to give and are listed at the end of the order of worship today. Choose whichever is most convenient for you and know that your gift will be used to benefit all. Let us pray. The crowds offered their coats to walk on. They waved palm branches, honoring your presence. Today we honor you, Lord, with our faithful tithes and offerings. We lay these gifts before you, humble tokens of our love and affection for our King of Kings. Amen.
joy to God our strength. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. For God has raised Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. He's alive. Christ the Lord is risen today. Sons of men and angels say, Alleluia. God's only begotten Son, the Lamb slain before the foundation of time, is not in a tomb. He is here. And on this day, in this place, there is a celebration of his resurrection. Alleluia. Alleluia. He, he lives. lives.
He's alive. The Son of Man endured the humiliation of a mock trial and the agony of crucifixion. The Pharisees and other religious leaders plotted against Jesus for his arrest and execution. On the night of the Passover feast, he gathered with his disciples in a small upper room for what would be their final meal together. Take and eat. This is my body. Take and drink this cup, for this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. After the meal, they sang a hymn, and Jesus soon went to the Garden of Gethsemane, Gethsemane to pray. My Father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. Lo, how a rose air blooming from tender stem has sprung. Of Jesse's lineage coming as men of old have sung. his earthly ministry, Jesus touched the lives of many. A man named Lazarus. A sinful woman at a well. A blind man. A leper. Through the healing hands of Jesus, God showed a lost world his plan for salvation. And it was those same hands which were nailed to a cruel cross on Calvary. They beat him. They mocked him. They crowned him with thorns. 
they led him away to die. Truly, this man was the Son of God. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Rejoice, believers. Rejoice, for on this day Jesus is alive. Oh, 
sacrifice because of his love we can sing a new song there is hope there is peace there is forgiveness there is new life we respond with thanksgiving and joy hallelujah what a savior
we come before you with grateful hearts, thankful for the wondrous sacrifice you made for us. You came into the world as a humble servant, showing us the way to abundant life and unconditional love. We worship you not only because of who you are, but who you continue to be to us each day, our gracious Master and our God. Thank you for the hope and meaning you bring to our lives now and forever. Amen. As we near the conclusion of our service today, please join in our hymn of commitment, In the Cross of Christ I Glory, sung by our choir. Jesus' sacrifice for our sins gives us strength and hope like nothing else. from our choir today. Thank you to Cynthia Dixon, our music director, and Kara Zaharan, our pianist, and to all of our choir members and readers for such a worshipful service for Palm Sunday. We also appreciate our media ministry team and all that they did and do to record and produce the video and make it available online. Wow. Today's music has lifted our spirits and given us hope. May these messages that we have heard through the songs live in us as we begin this holy week. In Jesus' life, this had to be the most difficult week of his life. He needed great patience and amazing strength. The cross loomed ahead and would bring him the most pain and suffering ever. But we have heard and know the cross was not the end for him. Please join us this Thursday at 7 p.m. for the Monday Thursday service to continue in this Holy Week journey with Jesus as we remember the Last Supper together. And now, go forth in peace and strength to live your lives for God and for his glory. Crown him Lord. <laughs>